welcome to beautiful Boulder, Colorado. It's Running Form Friday. These videos are here to help you become a more efficient and natural runner. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact newtrunning.com. I'm going to talk about a drill today called donkey kicks. Um, in the last video you probably saw the importance of having a level hip position. So remember that bucket of water, keeping your hips level, not tilted forward. That's going to help you engage your core a lot better when the hips are level. Feeling nice and tall and athletic, ankles and knees are nice and flexed. The purpose of this drill is hip extension. So a lot of people ask me like, well if you're having me running at this 180 cadence, I just got this short choppy step and I, how can I run fast like that? Well first of all we want you to get into the cadence the higher cadence 180 or above the reason being is with the quick stance remember you're always balancing right so ideally keep the quick steps and then you just elongate your stride slightly so donkey kicks are to help you understand that so if I have the level hip nice and tall athletic here come up on the one legged stance keep the hips level and the upper body straight sometimes you might want to look in the mirror when you first do this and then kick your leg back as if you're going to kick something behind you keep your arms balanced you can even move them as the opposite leg goes back what this does it helps you with hip extension so as you're running faster you're going to open up your stride and i don't mean put your leg out in front of you to open up your stride you're going to keep your upper body upright and forward and what's going to happen is you're going to open up your stride length by by hip extension and then right after that moment you're going to bring the knee up and then drop back under the body again so remember speed is a combination of the turnover rate so quick steps for balance and then opening up your stride so we were not going to say you know striding out because people get it confused with striding out in front of them and then the upper body is going to be slung back and then you're going to definitely break lose time and push so the idea is to get level get you'll be striking here extension comes back and then the upper body stays forward and you'll land back over your mass again so there is a little confusion about how we can incorporate speed with high cadence so that's how you do it but all of my other all of my other drills that we've been doing so far have been talking about first of all you have to have high cadence right you have to have that first as a starter and then you open up your stride which doesn't mean out in front of you you open it up because the combination of speed is turnover rate so the 180 plus steps per minute plus the longer stride and the longer stride is not in front of you it's just opening up coming back underneath the body